Hey, I'm the Space Cowboy! <laughs> Let's talk about CB radio for a minute. CB radio is um, a pretty old technology now. And so I guess there's a fair few of you uh, watching this right now who probably never used a CB radio. It is very useful in a lot of circumstances for travelers, people like myself who live out in the woods. Um, so let's talk a bit about what's so great about CB and why you might want to add a CB radio to your off-grid living setup. First of all, every CB radio setup now has three basic parts. You've got your digital radio box here, which is, as you can see, pretty small and compact. You've got your microphone, and of course you've got your aerial. Now, aerials uh, come in a few different formats. This one is kind of a medium length one. Uh, and I also have a smaller one that's only about this long and a much longer one which is nearly what, two and a half, three meters long. And the reason you have different length aerials is because they work differently in different circumstances. It gets a bit technical but basically a shorter aerial is really good for situations where the landscape is very hilly, mountainous or you're in deep valleys. Um, a mid-range aerial like this is a kind of a versatile all-rounder and a very long aerial will be great in circumstances where you're in very open flat country um, like a desert or plains country and you need to transmit over long distances but there aren't many geographical features in your way. This um, digital CB box I've got up here is a pretty typical one. It's not expensive, it's mid-range, you can pick it up, pick up systems like this in any, uh, any kind of generic retail store and um, the main features that are useful are, are the, uh, the band selector dial, volume control over here, and this scan feature, which is what's happening right now. It's in scan mode. Uh, so it just goes through every channel on, the, on its uh, dial, looking for any signal, anyone transmitting on any channel. And if it finds a, a, a channel where someone's transmitting, it'll pause there, and it'll listen for a minute to find out to, to let, you, let you hear what people are talking about on that channel, which is a useful feature. If you're just looking for people in your vicinity, you need help or something like that, and you want to find people who are nearby, this, this scan mode is a good one. If you click the scan button while it's scanning, it'll just go back to the channel you set it to previously, and then you use the channel select knob here to run through all the channels there. Pretty basic, hey? Eh? The reason the dial is red is because red light is uh, less glary in dark situations. So because the because the CB radio is up there, right above where you know, right in front of your windshield, you don't want a glary blue or bright white light shining in your eyes when you're driving at night. So red light's much much less uh, obnoxious. I've got a um, off-on switch here, so I can have the the CB radio on at any time, it's connected directly to the battery so uh, it doesn't draw much power and I've got solar so I can basically keep it running all day if I wanted to but this switch just allows me to turn it off and on whenever I want. I think most people know but we'll go through it just because maybe you don't. Microphone on a CB is pretty easy to use when it's uh, in its normal mode like this, when it's in default mode you're listening so anyone can transmit and you'll hear what they have to say if you're on their channel. And when you press the button there, you're now transmitting. And everyone else who's on your channel, which is currently channel 10, they won't be able to speak while you're transmitting. So it's very important after you finish speaking to let that button go. Otherwise, everyone else on the channel is going to be locked out from transmitting. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, I've got a mobile phone. What would I want a clunky old technology like CB radio for? Well, the answer to that is actually pretty simple. CB radio works everywhere because you've got the transmitter and receiver right in your vehicle with you whereas a mobile phone is dependent on mobile phone coverage and in a big continent like Australia there's actually lots of places where you can't get a phone signal and your CB radio is going to be your, your standby communication when you're in those kind of situations so 
especially in an emergency situation, maybe you have an injury or you've just got your vehicle bogged or you've got a flat tire or you're broken down somewhere, you run out of fuel, that CB radio is going to help get you out of trouble where a mobile phone won't necessarily do that. A person like me who lives out in the woods, I'm often in places where there's no phone signal, so for me it's a great insurance policy. Uh, it's a way I can get in touch with the outside world even if my phone signal isn't there. There's only really a couple of things you need to know about speaking on a CB radio that are important. The first one is not to hold the microphone too close to your mouth when you speak. When you speak you should have the microphone close but not right in your face. If you hold it right here it's actually going to be hard for people to understand what you're talking about. So just hold it a little bit away from your face. And the other thing is just keep your remarks, keep your comments short and to the point. Don't be one of these obnoxious people who gets on the CB radio and starts chatting for five minutes non-stop without letting go of the transmit button. You can very quickly find yourself extremely unpopular if you do that. And people do other annoying things too, like hold their microphones up to their radio and transmit music. That's not what CB is for, and other people on the channel are going to start abusing you if you start doing stuff like that. So use common sense. Say what you have to say, keep it short, and let go of that transmit button so other people can reply and use the channel as well. I keep this in my glove box. I just printed this out off the internet and this is like a summary of all the basic stuff it's good to know about your CB radio. Here are some of the really commonly used channels in Australia. This, is, this is applies to Australian users but there are similar kind of conventions in every country in the world. Channel 40 is typically for road safety and truckers. 11 is Australia's call channel, so if you get on channel 11, that's the channel everyone else who's looking for someone to talk to is going to be on to try and find other people. Channel 10 is a four-wheel drive channel. It's commonly used by clubs and four-wheel drivers who are out in the bush. 18, channel 18, campers and caravans. That's all you, you grey nomads, people on the road traveling. <laughs> There's also a list here of your usual CB slang. Terms like over, which means you finished transmitting, copy that, or 10-4, which means that you understood what you just heard. 4-10, which is a question. Did you copy that? Do you agree? 10-9, please repeat, and, and so on. So there's a whole bunch of whole bunch of slang that people do use if they're really familiar with CB. But, you know, for most of us, we don't need to bother with that stuff. There's, you can speak on a CB radio just like you would speak to anyone else, any other circumstances. Well, I think I've just about covered the CB radio basics, but there's just one more thing you should know. Over. Okay, one more useful thing that it's good to have. A little handheld CB to go with your big car mounted one. And this is uh, a lot cheaper than the car one even. Um, but it's great to have because if you're out in the bush with a mate and you need to keep in touch with each other, maybe they're back at base camp and you're driving around, or maybe you're just... Uh, doing something like uh, mud recovery or something like that and it's great to have a, a radio that the person who's outside the vehicle can speak to you inside the vehicle really easily. Yeah, just jump on me, catch, me kitchen bench, sure. <laughs> yeah, have a drink out of the washing up tub, that's the way. I eat a ton of muesli. I make up, I make up this muesli myself. It's um, just rolled oats and raw cashews, unsalted cashews, of course. Um, there's some uh, pumpkin seeds in there and sultanas, sesame seeds. What else? Oh, bran. Number one struggle of living in the bush. Got to stay on top of the insects. These fucking wasps have built themselves a nest in my window cover flap. I can't, can't have that. I'm sorry, guys. I do not want to be living with wasps. Okay, this was just too gross not to talk about. So not only did I discover and, and spray this wasp's nest that they were building under this rolled up tent flap. Turns out it's actually a wasp's nest that has been colonized by fucking spiders 
oh my god so about nature going bloody in tooth and claw it looks like these spiders just moved in here and just fucking ate all these wasp eggs or larvae or whatever it was they found in here and they say humans are fucked up look at this shit how great is this no breeze, no problem. Yeah, I'm really pleased I went with the, the cord setup on this. It's really versatile, hey. You can put it anywhere around a campsite, so easy. Yep, this fan is working out pretty good. Such a good investment. Timer on there, so six hours around eight o'clock tonight. It's going to turn itself off. Here's a little um, easy hack I've done here to um, hang up my uh, kitchen utensils and stuff. Basically, this thing is just a bit of um, a bit of basic kind of like utility cord, and I've tied knots in it at intervals so that these hooks don't slide along it too easily and these hooks are just um, little plastic shower curtain hooks that you can get at hardware stores um, and I've kind of clipped clipped one side of them so it's a bit more open the hooks a bit more open on one side which means you can easily get your utensils like that and just pop them on and off you got one like this where it's easier if the hook stays attached to this one so that one just comes off there Right, and then you can just hook it back up there really easily as well. 